Hello friends, thanks for reading along with us today. Let's get started. It's vacation time. Tyler was bursting with excitement as he boarded the airplane, destination Hawaii. He had never flown on a plane before, and as the plane took off, Tyler's eyes widened, watching the ground shrink below. He pressed his face against the window, amazed at the clouds and the endless blue sky. After hours in the air, Tyler and his family landed on the beautiful island of Oahu. They stayed at a fancy resort right by the beach and were greeted with lays made of fresh plumeria blossoms as they walked in. Tyler's parents checked in, and soon they were off to their luxurious room with a view of the sparkling ocean. The next morning, Tyler woke up early, eager to explore. His family headed straight to the beach. The sand was soft and warm under Tyler's feet, and the waves crashed gently on the shore. Tyler and his big sister built sandcastles while their parents relaxed under a big umbrella. He tried boogie boarding and laughed every time he tumbled into the water. One day, the family went horseback riding through lush green trails. Tyler's horse was named Lonnie, which means heaven in Hawaiian. They trotted through valleys and up gentle hills, where Tyler saw the most incredible views of the island. His guide, a local named Kimo, told them stories about the ancient Hawaiians and their deep connection to the land. The highlight of the trip was their hike near a real volcano. Tyler's heart pounded excitedly as they began their trek up the rocky path. Their guide, Auntie Malia, told them fascinating tales of Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of fire, who is said to live in the volcano. According to legend, Pele could create new land with her fiery power and sometimes appeared as an old woman to test people's kindness. Tyler loved the stories and imagined meeting Pele herself. That evening, they attended an authentic luau. Tyler's eyes sparkled as they entered the open-air venue decorated with tiki torches and colorful flowers. The aroma of roasting pig filled the air, making his mouth water. As they found their seats, Tyler could not wait for the festivities to begin. The luau started with the sound of drums and conch shells. Hula dancers swayed gracefully, telling stories with their hands and movements. Then came the fire performer. Tyler's jaw dropped as he watched the performer twirl flaming torches, creating a spectacular display of light and heat against the darkening sky. Dinner was a feast. Tyler tried everything. Kalua pork, where they cooked the meat underground. Poi, a starchy food paste made from taro root. Lomi lomi salmon, a side dish of salmon, onions and tomatoes, and sweet hopia for dessert, which reminded him of coconut pudding. He loved the flavors and how everyone around him smiled and enjoyed the celebration. Lying in bed that night with the sound of the ocean in the distance, Tyler knew he would always remember his adventures in Hawaii. He drifted off to sleep, dreaming of being a volcano god like Pele, dancing hula, and eating delicious Hawaiian food. Thanks for reading along with us today. We hope you enjoyed the book. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more magical stories. See you tomorrow!